2013 portfolio tasting for Profile Wine Group. And right now I'm speaking with Robin Shea. Now, Robin, you are here representing two different highly esteemed wineries. So can you please tell me what they are and a little bit about them? We have two Tuscan estates here. The first, San Polo, is from Montalcino. And Montalcino is perhaps the heart of traditional Tuscany. It is 100% Sangiovese. It's cultivated on the highest hills of Tuscany, up above 1,600 feet. Looks out over the Val di Orcia, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. One of Italy's most prized, most uh, beautiful regions, and one of her most age-worthy wines made from a grape called Sangiovese, which is classic, traditional Tuscany. The other estate that I'm representing, or that the family purchased uh, property, uh, is in the appellation of Bolgheri. And sometimes uh, with Brunello, Bolgheri, Barolo, and Barbaresco, we talk about the killer bees oh, okay. of Italy. Right. So Bolgheri has a logic, which also is that wines from this uh, very small appellation are extremely highly prized right now in Italy. The Appalachian's unique in that there is no Sangiovese planted, or less than 2% of the Appalachian surface area is planted Sangiovese. It's an Appalachian almost dedicated exclusively to Cabernet Sauvignon, to Merlot. Almost consider it Italy's new world. And Bulgari uh, gave birth to the Super Tuscan in uh, the late 60s. A wine called Sassicaia was one of the wines that gave birth to this Appalachian. And today, Poggio Tesoro, which means Treasure Hill in Italian, is comprised of 40 hectares uh, owned by the Allegrini family. And uh, we produce Cabernet Sauvignon, we produce Cabernet Franc, we do a little bit of Syrah, and we even have a local grape called Vermentino that we do very little of as well. But a really special place right on the shores of the Mediterranean. Is there a particular wine you have here today that you're very excited about, or are they all equally excited? One is called Sondraia, and I really love Sondraia because of the story about how this appellation came into being. Bulgari is an appellation that uh, 30 years ago didn't have a right to call itself Tuscany. All the wines that came from here had to be called Vino di Tavola. And so the Tuscan producers did this very clever thing called Aya. And Aya in the end this basically means a place of, it's kind of the little area in front of a house. And so the first part of the word actually tells you something about the vineyard itself. Sassicaia means the place of the stones. It's a wine called Lupicaia, the place of the wool. Sondra in Etruscan means seaside. And so this is the place by the sea. And this was in last year's top 100 wines of the year, the only wine from Bulgaria in the top 100 from Wine Spectator. This year, once again, 93 points, and it's been a real hit.